Hey everybody, it's me Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. I'm here with an update on my uh, first page for Roxy's Journal of Stitchery Volume 2. Um, I couldn't decide if I wanted to do Christmas or a winter theme, so I've pretty much decided I might do a mixture of both, but more probably Christmas. Um, this is my first page, and it's not completely done. I think I might um, might add a few more little things to it, maybe a little lace, um, or I don't know, maybe not. Just kind of depends on uh, what we, what we find out tomorrow, because uh, this is Tuesday, and tomorrow will be Wednesday, so we'll get. Um, videos from Rachel and Sarah and uh, we'll see what what uh, they have to show us and tell us about um, so for now I'm not going to do anything else with this um, I did I didn't use a lot of Christmas fabrics I used a little piece of this brown which was a Christmas uh, fabric and then I used this piece here with the snowflakes on it and uh, the rest of it was just I don't know just a mixture of of other stuff but um, I didn't want to go real what do you say how do I say this um, cutesy I guess I want to do Christmas but not not cutesy cutesy like little kids Christmas stuff you know what I mean I think you know what I mean so I guess kind of more like grown-up Christmas <laughs> I suppose I don't know anyway um, yeah this was it so I had some fabric that I wanted to use because I wanted to do a brown a brown page and um, so it just happened to be the very first first prompt was a deer so I had this uh, fabric that had reindeer on it and they had really swirly antlers and stuff coming out real busy and um, so I started trying to stitch it and it looked didn't look right so I just snipped that off and I, I did my own little antlers and <laughs> they don't really look right either but <laughs> Hey, that's that. That's it. That's what I'm. That's what I did, and that's how it's going to be. Um, I'm not real crazy about it, but could have been worse, I guess. Anyway, I I used some gold uh, metallic thread, and I did the little antler things, and then I used some red beads and made berries on the ends of those and then um, I'll bring it up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better and then I, I I looked around for something to use for his nose and I had some sequins but they were a little bit too big and I really didn't like the bead on there because it poked up too far so what I ended up doing and it's a little bit uh, uh, maybe a little bit cheating I'm not sure but I used some red stickles. I used this and dabbed it on there for his nose. And I will probably use stickles some more in this because it's just, um, it's a good little accent. It's sometimes maybe thread just doesn't work and you need something, something else. So I might use some more stickles. I don't know. Uh, or this might be the only place I use stickles. I'm not sure. I still need to uh, come in here and do a French knot in uh, my little deer's eye. I didn't do that yet, um, but I have to do that. And I'm not going to use as much lace as I used on the on my uh, first journal. Um, I really really did a lot of lace and stuff on that one and I don't think I'm going to do quite so much. I might do a little Christmas trim around here but it's not going to be layers of lace and um, 
So anyway, that is my first page so far. It might be finished, it might not. Um, we'll see. Now, I chose this for my book, and it's a Reader's Digest. And I actually ordered this from uh, Amazon, not Amazon, eBay. I ordered it from eBay because I thought that it looked very Christmassy. These look like little poinsettias. And so I have taken the spine off. It was actually falling off when I got the book. And I really couldn't see that in the pictures, that the spine was, was coming apart. Um, I went back and looked at the pictures again. I still didn't see it. But anyway, it doesn't matter because I realized that it's probably, I was probably going to have to take it off anyway. Um, so this is what I've decided for right now to do for my, for my um, book. For the spine, I, I took it apart and I figure I'm going to have a spine about this big. It might not be this big, but I'm not putting anything together so I can adjust it. Um, these are my tags. I got my tags out. I've got my tags ready. And uh, let's see, can I put them? Move my book down a little so I can lay my tags up here. Um, and I did six because I think we're supposed to do one tag a month. And so I got my tags ready. And I decided to use this uh, canvas. And I'm also going to use it here in the spine. These are all my pages. And I'm, I think I have enough. This is my template. That's why there's an, a little X on there. Um, I think I have enough pages to do the whole thing. I haven't yet decided what I'm going to back them on what's going to be my, what do you want to call it, foundation or whatever that I attach each of my pages to. Um, I know what, what I'm going to do, but I don't know what kind of fabric I'm going to use yet because I was thinking about using a ticking, but now I'm more or less leaning towards just using a um, probably some muslin. But um, what I've decided to do as far as my tags go, I know some people... I saw are uh, attaching them to their to their page, but um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put my um, I'm going to put them in the back. And the best way I can f figure it is when I'm done, I'm going to have this page and my back page. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them like this. And I don't really like the idea of having one going sideways, but that I think is the way it's going to go. And then on the back here, I will put my other three tags. So I've got that figured out. That's, that's how I'm going to do that. So that's, that's figured out and ready to go. That's how I'm doing it. Um, I don't believe I'm going to change my mind on that. Now, as far as my spine goes, I'm going to have, there's 12 pages, so there's going to be um, a total of three signatures. There'll be four, four to a signature, so that's going to be three signatures, if I'm figuring it right. So I'm going to do the three signatures, and then This will be my cover page. I don't know what I'll put here yet. This will be my cover page. And then this will be my first page. And this will be my second. Third and fourth. And then that will... be the first signature. Then there'll be fifth and sixth and so on. You, you know how, how we do. <laughs> I think. Here's the back. It's a mess. But it's done. So anyway, um, that is it. Now as far as for how I'm going to do, what I'm going to do on my spine, 
I'm going to, I mean, if you figure, let me, let me put all this back in here. Um, and I'll try to explain how I'm going to do it. Um, let me take all this out so I can flip it over. My signatures will go in here. One, two, three. It depends on how fat they are. But I have not um, put this together, and I'm not going to. I just, right now, I just have it um, attached. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this to be my base. And then um, I'll glue this down. But not until my pages are all completely done so that I know how big my spine needs to be. And then I'm probably, I'm going to do some type of an embellishment right here with some embroidery on it. But it will depend on how wide my spine's going to be. And I should have a pretty good idea after I get my first signature done. So, um, yeah, I hope that made sense. I'll put some lace, maybe a doily, and do uh, some type of, some type of a little embroidery piece right in here and probably have volume two written down here on the bottom or embroidered on the bottom um because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do my spine i'm gonna leave it i mean i'm not gonna do the my book cover i'm going to leave it like this because i think it looks like christmas so and that's the reason i decided to go with this one so whatever I do will just be on the spine and then I'll do my cover page on the inside and I'll decide I'll decide later what I'm gonna do here the back I don't have to decide on because three of my tags will be on the back in the back of course I I guess I no, I'm not going to do that. I started to say I could put three tags on this, but no, I'm going to do all my tags in the back. And, uh, yeah. So that is my plan. Um, it could change. It's very possible it could change. But for right now, that's what I've decided to do. And um, we'll see tomorrow what, what comes next. And... Um, And we'll go from there. So, thanks for stopping by and taking a look at my progress and what I've gotten done. And um, I'll see you again next week with another update. So, take care. Be safe. Bye for now.